Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies, and it is June 16th. And these are some peonies that I have had for many, many years. They were given to me by a gardening friend and I really look forward to this time of year when they bloom. And you can see these flowers are very complicated. There have to be maybe a thousand petals on them. And each petal creates a little cup or cavity that will capture water when I either water or it rains. And unfortunately, that flower head becomes so heavy with water that the stem simply can't support it. And if it does get wet in its short lifetime, that flower head will just tip over and many times end up face down in the dirt. So to prevent that from happening in the spring, I take a cut down tomato cage and put it uh, where the plant is emerging from the soil. And hopefully the flowers when they start to come up will go up between the cage which will support them. And when it supports them, uh, you're not going to see the cage, but it will be there and it will help to hold the head up if the time comes that water will get on it and it will keep it from doing that nosedive and really then you know the plant is you can't cut it and bring it in because it's just so messed up so if they make it through their short season without taking a nosedive that's a real treat but I've often thought that this is another flower that breeders have gotten a hold of and cultivated so it's bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes they have a double bloom and they create a triple bloom and so the flower is no longer anything like what the original one was and stems simply can't hold these flowers up after it's rained and you've probably seen some of these in your own garden so just for the fun of it, I looked, tried to look up the other day the origins of a peony and what the native peonies look like. And I did find some from America and they are much smaller and simpler and they're quite beautiful, not anywhere near as showy as these. But this particular peony that I have came from China and I found a picture of a peony from 700 AD. And I was surprised that it looked very much like this one. So it really hasn't been bred to be this big. And one of the fun, really fun facts that I found was that um, a peony was a symbol for warriors with a devil-may-care attitude and a disregard for consequences. Now that really surprised me. But when I thought about it, it made a lot of sense. Today in his devotion, Paul Tripp says, a person's character is formed in 10,000 little mundane moments of everyday life. And that made me think of this peony with all of these little petals just waiting to collect water that will eventually be its downfall. And then Paul Tripp goes on to say, these little moments actually point the finger at something that is huge, our struggle with sin and our need for the grace that can be found only in our Savior. And I thought, well, that's kind of like the tomato cage that I put around my peony, but it's not a cage at all, is it? 
It is a support that helps hold that flower up and will rescue it from taking a nosedive into the dirt when that flower head becomes too heavy with water that the stem can't support it. Now I know the tomato cage is nothing like God's grace, but if I disregard these 10,000 little moments that form my character, I might be like that peony that is unable to support itself lying in the dirt. So thank you for joining me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope it's been an encouragement to you, and I hope that all of your peonies stay upright and beautiful. God bless.